Hi everybody. Uh, so uh, today I'm going to be doing a review or a video on my poop kit. And you know everybody has to go. It's a subject that a lot of people don't like to talk about. But you have to go. And it's they're very important for a couple of reasons. One of them is for good proper hygiene. And number two is <laughs> so that so that they will uh, so you can keep uh, leave no trace. You know, you want to go to a place and leave it as you found it. And whenever we go poop, uh, you have a chance of leaving the toilet paper out or, or what have you, wipes. Um, maybe dig a hole and not cover it back up the way it, it was before. Um, so poop kits are actually very important. I'm going to go over what I have in mind. And I found a really good, very good um, kit that I put together. Um, I've seen a lot of people use bidets before, but they often put it in like a smart water bottle or something. You don't need that. You don't need to be carrying a big old water bottle for your poop kit. So let me go what's inside here. The first thing that I'm going to do is go with my trowel. This trowel right here is a Vargo Titanium. I have used it. It works very well. It doesn't cut into your hands the way for example the deuce of spades does however i did take the deuce of state of spades with me instead of this one because it's lighter and it worked very well i would have showed it in this video but i have no clue where it's at um i got home and olive oil decided to put everything away and i don't know where she put everything away at so i was lucky to put some things together and it's exactly what i have except i had the deuce of spades the bag itself is a 2.5 liter, um, a 2.5 liter uh, stuff sack. It is um, supposed to be waterproof. It's, it's not a dry sack, however. So all you got to do, if you want to, is just fold it like this, and then wrap it around, and then uh, just cinch it down, and it'll be pretty much waterproof because it rains. So your trowel, whatever kind you want to use. Uh, like I said, this is a bar with titanium. It's, it's very nice, has little saw things on the sides. Deuce of spades, that's one that I use and I, I like it. I'm gonna, if I can't find it, I have to buy another one. Um, trash bag, okay. This, like a one quart bag, is, is, is all you need for, for trash. For, for when you do your, your business and you get get it dirty. You put it in here and you can use one per week, let's say. So when you go into town or wherever, you can throw it away. I've always carried extra bags in a, in a separate place just in case I need them for whatever reason. Come in very handy. Okay. So you need a quart size bag. Now, here is my, I wanna show you guys this. This I, I bought when I used to do a lot of cycling. Um, is to like put goo. It's called a Hammer Nutrition. See if you guys can see that. Hopefully, I'll, I'll see if I can. I see if I can uh, um, put a link to it. As you guys can, the price is still there. Two dollars and thirty nine cents. Um, <clears throat> so you're supposed to get it and. You know, it fits right here in your hand very well. And I'll go ahead and fill this up with water, okay? I carry this in my poop kit with water all the time because you never know when you have to go quickly. Okay, I'll be right back. So this is the way I carried it inside my stuff sack. Just like that. You can use that as a bidet, but don't. I always have it covered up so it doesn't do that. You can use this as a bidet just like the way it is, but I wouldn't. It'll be harder. The angle is not quite as good. Okay, so this right here, Hammer Nutrition. It's a little, it's all you need. Now, I never carry toilet paper. I always carry these are called Adventure Wipes, and I'll put a link below. Um, they come in a bag of 500. Um, 
and I put them in resupply boxes. I never ran out, not even close to running out. They're about the size of a nickel. They're very light. And, well, before I go there, um, hand sanitizer, okay, very important. And then I use the bidet. This is called Culo Clean, made in Spain. Um, uh, you can get them online. I got this one at uh, Two Foot Adventures in Ju when Mary was in Julian. I got two of them. Ask me where the other one is at. I don't know. But I'm glad I got two of them. Okay, so you get ready to go do your business, okay? And I'm going to put this back. There was one time um, after Big Bear, I took out an apple and an orange, and the urge hit me so fast when I after I ate the orange, the apple, I went off trail, I, you know, far enough, and I started to get my poop kit out, and I was like, no, and then I got, and it just, woo. I'm lucky I didn't go on my pants. Okay, so uh, that was not good. Sometimes the urge comes very quickly. So, okay. And I did clean myself up properly with the wipes and all that. But no, I, I uh, and end of the day. But I couldn't dig a hole. I, I didn't have enough time. I just like I had to go. Okay, so this would be in here just like this. Okay. My trash bag. There you go. You're going to carry the water anyway, if it's drinking water or whatever, so you might say it's additional weight. Well, carrying the water. Well, yeah, you're going to carry water anyway. Um, and it could be used as emergency water, but I, mean, I, I was fortunate I'd never have to do that. So you got to go. Get this out of your backpack, and you go to a location 200 feet away, 70 paces. Left, right, left. That's one pace. Pace seventy of those. Um, do people actually go that far? Well, to to avoid urinate? No. They find a spot close to the trails where it normally happens, and you go. Um, is that the right thing to do? No, you're not supposed to do that. And definitely do not go anywhere, anywhere near where there is a water source, creeks, rivers. No. Go far away. Do the 70 paces. Get out away from the water. Don't need any kind of contamination. I mean, that's not good. But anyway, you get to where you're at. Right away, you dig a hole. There was a couple of times when I was camping out somewhere when I found my tent site. And at nighttime, I would go far enough, find a spot, dig a hole when I didn't have to go. And then come back in to my tent, go to sleep at night time, get up, eat my breakfast, whatever, and then the hole was already built, it was already dug. And then I would go in there, just there and cover everything up. So whatever you want to do, but normally I dug a hole as I got there. Trowel. You get your trowel, you go over there, dig a hole, and this stays open if there's a wind or whatever, put a little rock or something to hold it down the trash bag you have it ready have this ready next to you and then I would get the, the bidet so when you when you get this um, what I would do when you first get your cool clean it's called a cool clean Culo in Spanish means butt. Um, and, um, but anyway, when you first get this, it might, it's a tight fit. And you want it to be a tight fit because, you know, you're going to be carrying a lot of miles and you don't want it to get all over the place. So get some oil, all, you know, vegetable oil or anything at home before you use it. And then just, it pops right in just like that. Okay. Okay, got some water in here. 
and after you do it a couple of times like before you go on your hike um, it'll be it'll fit really good so you just get it point this away from you put it inside <clears throat> just like that afterwards it gets a little easier to put it in but when you grab it you know you're going to be it has like a finger thing it's supposed to be for eating the goo but I never used it for that um, <clears throat> and you grab it and you you know behind you you get this watch this it, it just well you're going to the bathroom you get I mean you're going to do your business and there is no bathroom <laughs> Um, you go where the bears go. <laughs> and one of these things, adventure wipes, as I said, you just wet it a little bit. You don't wet it too much. You don't want to waste too much water. Try to get everything taken care of before, before you got to go. Um, because it, like I said, sometimes the urge hits are very hard. No, I never poop my pants. Some people say, if you're through an anchor, you gotta poop your pants. No, you don't. But it can happen. Okay. It's moist from when I opened it up. You do your business, you get down, and you know, you dig a hole, you do your business, and then once you you put this somewhere where it's, you know, like a, a branch or wherever, um, clean. And this right here, I mean, it's done. I mean, I, I don't know, I got like four or five sprays out of that. It's all you need. And you'll get good at aiming. And aim and you clean it really good. Once you clean it, then you wipe and then I only wiped one with one rag one they're like a rag I highly suggest you get this instead of toilet paper um, yeah I mean they're they, they're more durable you're not gonna be tearing them and some toilet paper fall off and go on. the wind picks it up and takes or whatever you know once you you know do your business this is it. Just get it and put it inside. You can easily see how this can hold five, six, seven, whatever. You know, if it gets a little more filled up, get a stick and push them down or whatever. And then when you get to a city, okay, so this right here, when you're done, <laughs> when you are done, I took this off because it's very durable. It's a bidet. I highly recommend the Kulo Clean. I know there's others out there, but I highly recommend it. I saw a few people out there that had the exact same one. You can order it online, like I said, or, or you know, support your local outfitter if they have it. Okay. Then I would go back to uh, camp and then. I wouldn't fill up right away because this year there was a shortage. I mean, there's not that much water out there. And I wanted to make sure I had drinking water instead of putting the water in here. Um, when I was able to get more water then, or the next day, whenever I could, then I would go ahead and refill it. Like I said, you could use this if you wanted to. If, you, if you, something happened to this, you could use this as well but it's not going to clean as, as good as this this has a lot of pressure the way the size of the hole the angle the direction you have it works very well okay so then i would go ahead and put that in there cool or clean I, of course wash my clean up my hands with a hand sanitizer very good. Don't forget the nails. You know, just make sure 
to use friction. And yes, it's in the same place. You don't. You, this is your poop kit. Okay, that's why I like this Ziplocs because you know Ziploc it good. Make sure that it's not open for obvious reasons. And then your adventure wipes. I use them in a little snack bag. You can buy snack bags, but you can put them in whatever you want. Heck, you can put them in there inside the stuff sack without. But I, this is double protection. I don't want them to get wet. And then, like I said, I had the deuce of spades. I don't know where it's at. I'm probably gonna have to buy another one. But this is good too. The Tokes uh, titanium. I did use that deuce of spades, however. And then that's it go back you know I, I just carried it like that and this always goes in the outside uh, bag uh, pocket you know it's called the front pocket I call it the back pocket the big one again I don't want it inside my backpack or anything like that is it the bag itself is a uh, Cedar Summit two and a half liter bag and this is, is all you need okay hope you guys like the the video i will i'll put descriptions on the adventure wipes do some spades and also this tokes that i have here um, some people don't like the do some spades how it hurts their hand but the do some spades is very is very good the handle you can actually grab you can actually grab the uh, the shovel side and use the handle to start the hole, um, and, and and it works very well. But if you know if it hurts your hand, you want another one. Keep two of them at home. What the heck, you know? Go camping with somebody. Let somebody borrow it or whatever. Okay, guys. Thank you. Coop kit. There we go.